Yoga Club. Hello and welcome to Yoga Club. Every day we change a little bit, every month and every year. We are always growing and learning. In our Yoga Club today, we have some wonderful yoga and mindfulness to help us welcome change, accept it, and know that we don't need to be afraid of it. After our first wonderful yoga adventure all about a butterfly called Coco, I'll be doing a few hellos and shout outs to you. Have fun in the yoga! Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's have a look through our cosmonoculars and find out who we're meeting today. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, we have a look through. Ooh, look at those colours, those shapes, all spinning around, pretty patterns. Ooh, can you see the picture? It's a butterfly! It's Coco the butterfly! Oh, what's Coco doing? She's doing yoga. She's doing rainbow pose. Oh, how lovely. We're off to see Coco the butterfly. Just the other day, she was all wrapped up, huddled in her cocoon. Bringing your knees up and wrapping them round like you're holding on to your cocoon. But today's the big day, when she finally releases her cocoon, spreads her wings and becomes a butterfly. Let's go find her by cycling to the meadow, coming into bicycle pose. Lying on our backs, we crisscross our fingers and put them behind our back. We lift up our legs and we pedal our feet as we sing. Roly poly, up, up, up. Roly poly, down, down, down. Roly poly, ever so slowly. Roly poly, roly poly, quick, quick, quick. We're here, and some of the butterflies are already free and fluttering around, enjoying their new wings. Coming up to sit in our butterfly pose, drawing the soles of our feet together, we hold on to our feet as we flutter our knees up and down. Lovely. Oh, but Coco, she's still all huddled up in her cocoon, bringing your knees up and wrapping them round. I don't want these silly wings. I want to be a caterpillar and to, and to stay with my cocoon forever. I don't want to change and be a butterfly. We can't believe Coco is so sad about her wings. But Coco, your wings are amazing. You can flutter and dance in the sun. They can take you anywhere. Sometimes change can be a good thing. All of a sudden, there's a clap of thunder in the sky. Coming up to stand, jumping our feet wide and taking our arms wide. Now, after three, let's clap our hands to the sky above us. Ready? One, two, three. Yes, well done, everyone. Let's do another one. One, two, three. Yes, well done. It begins to rain, using our fingers to pitter-patter on our faces and our heads, on our chests and our tummies, all the way down our legs and all the way back again, our arms. Oh, my goodness me. It begins to lightning from the sky. Arms out wide, bend your knees and begin to spin like you're striking the ground with your lightning. We take shelter in a cave. Take your arms wide and your hands above your head. Inside the cave, Coco huddles up, holding on to her cocoon. Arms wide and wrap them round. 
As she looks around the dark, gloomy cave, she starts to think that maybe her wings aren't so bad. Sometimes, when we take a step back and we think about all the good things rather than all the bad things, life starts to look a lot better. We call this counting our blessings. Outside the cave, a beam of sunshine sparkles in the rain. Jump your feet back together, reach your arms up and say, hello, sun. A beautiful rainbow arcs in the sky, coming into rainbow pose. Down onto two knees, stretch your arms wide and take one leg to the side. We drop down onto one hand and sweep our top arm up and over our ear like a beautiful arcing rainbow. Let's do it on the other side. Coming back to two knees again, arms to the side. We stretch our leg to the side and come down onto our hand. We sweep our top arm up and over our ear, making another glorious rainbow. Now the rain has passed, but the ground is wet. So out come all of the snails, coming into our snail pose. Up onto two knees, we come down onto our hands and we start to walk our hands forwards until we lower all the way down to our chest. Susie the snail stretches forwards to say hello, sliding our tummy along the ground, untucking our toes, hands under our shoulders. We roll our shoulders back as we lift ourselves up to say hello. Beautiful day. I love a bit of rain, I do. Oh, I do love my old shell. But I sometimes wish I could just spread some wings and fly away like you can, Coco. Coco sits, huddling up, holding on to her cocoon. Oh, Susie, I wish I had a shell just like yours. Then I wouldn't have to go anywhere. May we come inside your shell and have a look around? Susie is delighted and invites us in for a cup of tea. She opens the shell door coming into door pose. Up onto two knees, we stretch our leg to the side and our arm up to the sky and we open up the shell door. We close the shell door behind us. Two knees together, leg to the other side, arm to the sky and let's close it. Inside, we find ourselves in the most charming living room. There's a very cosy armchair. Coming up into chair pose. Standing up tall, we bend our knees and we sweep our arms up to the sky, sitting back like we're a comfy, cosy armchair. There's a table with a very pretty tablecloth on it. Coming into our table pose. Sitting on our bottoms, knees bent, feet flat, hands behind us and lifting up your hips like a table. On the table is a bowl full of fresh green leaves coming into bowl pose. Onto our tummies. We bring our heels towards our bottom and we reach round to find our ankles. Now we kick our heels into our hands and we lift ourselves up into our bowl pose. Susie pours the tea from a red spotty teapot. Let's come into our triangle teapot pose. Coming up to stand with our feet nice and wide. We take our arms wide as well and we turn our toes to the side. We lean over our leg and we tilt all the way down to pour the tea. Look, 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 look. We come back up to stand, turn our toes in, turn our other toes out and we lean over the other side as we tilt all the way down to pour the tea some more. Look, 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 look. Lovely. We all sit ourselves down on our bottoms. Coco huddles up, holding her cocoon. But as she reaches forwards, stretching to get her cup of tea, she lets go of her cocoon and her wings pop out to the sides. Holding onto your toes and letting your knees fall out to the side to flutter. Uh-oh. Slowly her wings begin to stretch, uncurl and unfold one at a time. After three, let's stretch a wing. One, two, three. And the other one. One, two, three. 
she rises up into Susie's shell. Coming up to stand, everyone. Feet wide, arms wide. And then it's chaos as she flutters about in her butterfly windmill pose. Taking your hand across to your opposite foot and stretching your other arm to the sky. Now we whoosh to the other side, knocking everything over. Whoosh! And the other side. Whoosh! And again. Whoosh! And again. Whoosh! Coming up to stand. Poor Coco finally comes in to land, sitting on our bottoms with her wings out wide, bobbing up and down a little bit, still in shock. Oh dear, Coco, we need to get you outside into the blue sky so you can learn how to use your wings properly. Let's fold you back up and get you out of Susie's shell. We lie Coco down on her back, lying all the way back. We bring one of her wings in, folding it up, tucking our knee into our chest. Then we fold in the other wing, huddling the other knee in, and we rock her up to sit. Here we go, sitting all the way up. Well done, everyone. Now we wrap her up in her cocoon again, holding that cocoon around by huddling your arms around your knees. Now to roll her out of the shell. I think it's going to take three rolls and on the third one we're going to try and stand up. Come on, let's do it. Tucking our chins in, we're going to rock all the way back and all the way up. Here we go. One, two, three. Whoop! Whee! And again. One, two, three. Whoop! Whee! And this is the one. Let's stand up on this one. One, two, three. Whoop! Arms wide and legs wide in our wonderful butterfly superstar pose. Up goes Coco, flying into the sky. Let's come into our flying pose. Turning to the side, we lift up one of our legs and take our arms wide. We take our leg all the way back behind us, coming into our very cool flying pose. Now we stand back up, we turn around and we try our flying pose on the other leg, trying not to wobble. We take our arms wide, we lift up our knee and we take our leg all the way back behind us coming into our flying pose on the other side yay coming to stand we reach our arms up to the sky as we wave at our friend Coco wishing her joy then we stand with our hands at our hearts and we close our eyes how proud we are of our friend Coco the butterfly who has finally discovered to love who she is, to accept herself, and to find freedom using her natural gifts. We open our eyes and we take a moment to rest in this beautiful meadow, lying on our backs, our legs and arms long. Ah, we let our bodies come to a restful, settled place. We slow down and as we lie here, we imagine we're back on that meadow with the sun beaming down on us, making our face and body feel all lovely and warm. And we enjoy this moment to count our own blessings, how we are full of fun, love to play, how we can enjoy the world around us and be thankful for our friends. Sometimes it's tempting to look at others and wish we had what they have. But when we take a moment just to stop and think about all the amazing stuff about ourselves, we realize that we can be totally happy just being ourselves without anything else, just being ourselves finding freedom with our own natural gifts. Slowly, we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees into our chests and we roll over onto our sides, opening our eyes as we do and coming to sit with our legs crossed. We bring our hands together at our hearts and we finish just the way we started, 
with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to visit Coco the Butterfly with me. You were amazing. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. lovely story. I'm glad that Coco finally found the courage to enjoy her wings and make the most of them, flying in the sunshine. Now to you. Each of you is a ray of sunshine, sunshine and I just love your messages. First hello to Christopher who is five and a half from Chattanooga in Tennessee. Christopher has been doing yoga club for a year with his mum and wants to suggest a yoga adventure about a steam train because he loves steam trains. Well, I love steam trains too, Christopher, and I think that would be a great idea. Thanks for writing in. Hello to Marlo, who is five and from Omaha in Nebraska, USA. Marlo's favourite pose is mermaid pose. Ooh la la! And she is keen to see a yoga adventure about a baby chicken. A chick! Great idea, Marlo. I will add this to my list of wonderful ideas. Perhaps the baby chick could ride on the steam train somewhere exciting. Toot toot! Join me again after our next video for a couple more wonderful shout outs. Toot toots! Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids and to Superhero Kids Yoga in Space! This is where we zoom in on our favourite superheroes. We try out their powers using our yoga and we learn what makes them awesome to help us in our own lives. But by facing his fear, he overcame it to become Batman! Opening our branches once again. But she is also compassionate, which means she always spots how others may be feeling and works out how she can help. We reach one leg all the way up. Wow, amazing! And open them wide. See if you can think of one thing, one thing you can do for someone else, something kind without being asked. I feel really peaceful now. I hope you do too. Goodness me, that really got my heart pumping. Whew. We are rocking and rolling now with our yoga club and I have a couple more shout outs now. Hello to Dahlia, age five and living in Spain. It's wonderful to hear how much you enjoy superhero kids yoga in space. If you're watching on the app, you've just done Iron Man yoga, so I hope you enjoyed it. Hello to your sister Cleo too. Thanks for your story about teaching the bear to share when he tries to steal the queen bee's royal jelly. Goodness me, that was a risky move on the bear's part, wasn't it? Thank you for writing in, Dahlia. I will see what I can do about making that story come to life. Hello to Ayla, who is five and is keen to see a yoga adventure based on Hamilton. Well, that that would be a fantastic adventure, wouldn't it? I would so love to do that. I love the story too, Ayla, and the music. Let's come back again after our next video, hopefully feeling very relaxed. Peace out. Magic Treehouse Hello. Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Time to enjoy a special story in our imagination. And you are in this story. 
first, very importantly, find a spot to lie back or sit down and make yourself as comfy as can be. Now to make your body all floppy. A really fun way to do this is to pretend you're a marshmallow person. That's right, like you are made of marshmallows. Soft, squishy arms and legs. A body like a pillow. And a squishy, squashy, marshmallow soft head. That's it. Super soft and gooey. Well done. Now you're as soft as a melted marshmallow. Keep your eyes open and take a few big deep breaths. In through your nose and out through your mouth. Can you do two more? Wonderful. And on your next big breath out, let your eyes close. Ah, oh, that's it. Now you've made yourself as relaxed as can be, your mind can play and take you on a really fun journey as you hear the words. Ready? Okay then, let's begin. You are standing in a beautiful garden. There are flowers everywhere. There are all sorts of colours. Yellow flowers, blue petals, green stems. Everywhere you look, you notice their bright colours. They are all different sizes too. Some have tall skinny stalks with big red heads. Others are small tiny flowers, all bunched together in a clump. You breathe in and smell their sweet scent. These flowers smell lovely. It's a warm summer's day. The air feels warm on your skin. You can hear a few birds whistling in the trees. Singing and tweeting. Some sounds are far away. Others are closer to you. You start to walk through your garden, along some round stepping stones that make a winding path down into the very back of the garden. The flowers line the sides of the path and you take in their colours and smells along the way. Right at the end of the path is a big tree. The trunk is so wide you'd have to make your arms as wide as they go to reach the sides of it. You see there is a ladder made of rope and wooden steps dangling down the trunk. Hmm, this looks fun, you think? Where will it lead? You step up onto the first wooden step of the ladder and carefully you start to climb up. When you reach the top, a big branch makes a pathway leading you to a front door. This is a house. It's a tree house. Like a real house, but in a tree. Who lives in there, you wonder? You turn the doorknob to open the door. Inside is a lovely big room with pictures on the walls 
squishy cushions on the floor, and a big armchair. What a cosy place this is. Sitting in the armchair is someone you know and love. You decide who this is, as they are very special to you. They are smiling and very happy to see you. This person makes you feel very safe and happy. After giving them a big hug, you sit by them on the soft, squishy cushions. You take a moment, enjoying being here, and then you think of something. A question you have, or something you've been wondering about. Anything you like. This is a person you can ask anything, share anything. You know they love you and will understand and be happy to help you. As you ask or tell them what it is you wish to say, they listen to you very carefully, smiling kindly, nodding gently, and hearing your words. They understand exactly what you are trying to say. It feels so good to share your thought and be understood. To have time to think and be listened to. When you have finished asking them your question or telling them your thought, maybe they say something back to you. Whatever they say makes you feel good about yourself. You understand better now and feel glad for having shared, been listened to and understood. Talking to this person has been fun and helpful to you. They smile at you and you smile back. This is your magic tree house and you can come back here and see your special person whenever you need. Now you know how much it helps to talk about things. You decide that next time something is on your mind, it'll be a good thing to share it with someone you love and feel safe with. Feeling happy about having this special place, you say goodbye. You walk out, close the door behind you, return back down the big branch pathway and climb carefully down the ladder into the beautiful garden. As you stand there, the flowers all around in the warm sunshine, you take a moment to notice how you feel. And you sigh, feeling peaceful. Now we return. See if you can notice how your body feels sitting on a chair or how the floor feels beneath you. Can you hear any other sounds around you? You take a big deep breath and sigh out from your mouth. Have a stretch if you like and slowly open your eyes. Now for just a moment, think about how you feel after that. Do you feel different to how you did before? Sleepy maybe? Or maybe you wanted to stay a bit longer in the magic tree house? Maybe your mind was kind of busy when you were listening and you were thinking of some other things. That's okay. What's great is that you are learning how your mind works. And knowing your mind better 
will help you be the best you can be. And most importantly, have a very happy life. That's a good thing, don't you think? Well done you for listening and finding your very own superpower right there in your mind. This is Jamie saying peace out. Ah, I hope you feel wonderful after that. Now I have one more shout out to do. Please, please do email me your shout outs and messages to yoga club at cosmickids.com. I will read them out. You just have to watch the yoga clubs to keep a lookout for it. So our final hello is to Adam, who is keen to see Power Rangers as a yoga adventure. Adam, I am very much with you. I would love to do this. I just need to ask the Power Rangers if it's okay. And fingers crossed, if they say yes, I will make it happen on the app. Lovely to hear you are enjoying the Cosmic Kids app so much and love to you all in Detroit. If you'd like to give the app a try, as Adam has with his family, go to app.cosmickids.com to check it out. Enjoy the rest of your yoga club and I'll be back next time with lots more lovely shout outs and messages. Bye! The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe Lizard Pose. Coming down onto one knee, your hands either side of your foot. Now stretch your back leg all the way behind you, keeping your toes tucked for a bit of support. Now bring both your hands inside your foot and see if you can lower yourself down like you're a lizard skulking around. Now lizard pose is really good for opening our hips and building strength in our legs. And it's lovely if you just breathe here for a while and get comfy. <sighs> Now, let's try it on the other side. Coming back up onto our hands, we switch our legs around, bringing the other foot forward, and we stretch our back leg all the way back behind us, keeping our toes nice and tucked. We lower our body down, and we skulk around like a lizard. Now, that fly would be lunch if I was a real lizard, but I'm not. I'm just a person pretending to be a lizard. Oh, look who's here. Wow, that was impressive and a delicious lunch, no doubt. Although, I think I'd prefer a sandwich. Oh, thanks! Lizard pose. <laughs>